Will Swerve's house fully realize its dynasty, or will the Samoan submission machine choke it out? Will timeless Tony Storm retain, or can Thunder Rosa reclaim what she never lost? And how many Tiger Driver 91s can Brian Danielson take? All that and more on today's show. Hit it, Chad. Hey, welcome to the show. It's Chandler. Hey, hey, Chad's back again. I don't like that. Dave? Hey, I'm the Daver, I think. What's going on? <laughs> We're all out of order, but you know what that means? It's time for another round of predictions. We're back to AEW this time for the first ever Dynasty. Now, before we get into the meat and potatoes of this, how are we feeling about the show? Very good. On paper, it looks like a great one. Yeah. Um, I went from feeling a few weeks ago like, hey, they're building pretty darn good to maybe on Dynamite watching it live like, eh, okay, okay, to re-looking at it on paper and going, oh, okay, this is going to be great. Like, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm reaffirmed now into the, this is going to be good. Um, I'm going to predict that it will feel a lot like the Wrestle Dream. They pulled it out of nowhere, and it ended up being a damn good show. Not just because we were there live. Um, our seats weren't that great, but uh, we were we were there. Um, yeah, I, I've got faith in it. that We have a good build. And I think they're going to deliver. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited for this show. There's plenty of dream matches on there. You got Joe and Swerve for the AEW title. You got the Young Bucks and FTR for the vacant Tag Team Champions. And of course, you got William Ospreay versus Brian Danielson. So without further ado, I say we get into these silly little predictions. Now, unfortunately, if you watched our Dynamite predictions, you know I'm a little sour about this. But on the zero hour... It's the acclaimed and daddy ass versus the bang bang gang winner take all for the aew trios titles and the ring of honor trios titles we're gonna start off with chad what do you think who do you want um you know they line up for a change uh bang bang gang all the way all right i think that's fair I think that's fair. And you know what? Not to just piggyback on you, but I'm going to totally agree with you. I'm all in on the Bang Bang Gang because I think I'd like to see them win this. And I hope that if they win this, they get to defend their titles more on AEW TV. That's kind of it. True. Dave? Um, real quick, do we want to reveal our punishment? Oh, yeah. We didn't even go into that. So... We've done some silly food stuff typically in the past, but this time we're changing it up. We're making the losers have to make a video that they don't want to make. So I'll talk about mine first. I have to make a video on why Chris Jericho is the greatest wrestler of all time. Not just a great wrestler, which I do believe. I think he's a great wrestler. The best of all time. Better than Takeshita. Better than Cody Rhodes. Better than John Cena. He's at the tippy top of that Mount Rushmore. Yeah, um, mine, if I were to lose, I'm going to do a video on five reasons why the WWF beat WCW. Yeah! Ooh. <laughs> I don't want to make it. None of us want to make these. That's why it's fun. <laughs> yeah. And mine is... um. Almost repentance for a video I did earlier. Uh, it's going to be why Ryback is the most under uh, underrated wrestler of all time. Oh, I got I got plenty of reasons. I can think of that IC title chamber match. I can think of Ryback. So I'm, I'm giving you two reasons oh, right man. now. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Does that so... mean I have to watch Ryback matches? Ooh. Uh, oh. Ooh, Ugh. that's a greater punishment than anything I can come up with. Jeez. But I'm on pins and needles here, Dave. What's your prediction okay. for this six-man trios match on Not the pre-show? Um, all right, we're doing 
two for think, one for want. Um, let's go with uh, I want the acclaimed. Giving them two. Um, and I think bang bang. Okay. So your two points are for the Bang Bang Gang because you think they'll win, and your one point is for the Acclaimed because you want them to win? Yep. All right. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. You know, I'd probably want the Acclaimed to win, too, if they wrestled on TV for these titles, but they don't. But I've also been predicting that the Bang Bang Gang take the trios titles off of them since, like, November. So, yeah. personally, I'd like to see that because I like the Bang Bang Gang. All right. You next. You both up. were all in on Bang Bang. Um. Yeah, we're both all in. Next up, another six man tag, but this one's super important and needs to be on the main card. We have the House of Black of Malachi Black, Buddy Matthews, and Brody King versus the thrown together babyface team of Mark Briscoe, Eddie Kingston, and Adam Copeland. Dave, who do you think and who do you want? All right, the uh, murder chicken rated rated R rated chicken hawks. Yes, rated chicken uh, hawks. Um, I okay. So that team, I would imagine, would let me think. I gotta think a little bit here. Um, so the House of Black won't lose. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing Think House of Black. I'm doing Want Chicken Hawks. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Chad, got anything to add? Uh, the same but different. Flip it. So you think Edge and the Gang, Edge and the Edgeheads, we'll call them, uh -huh. are going to win. And yeah. you're a winner on the House of Black. You'd rather have it? the House of Black win. I I'm, would. I got the same answers as Dave here. I think House of Black are winning okay. just because they don't like to lose. But the only reason I picked the good guys to win this is because I want Mark Briscoe to get his win back, God damn it. He, he lost to the House of Black a million times. He's the Ring of Honor World Champion now. He should get a win over these goobers. So that's my prediction. Two on House of Black, one to Edge in the Gang. Next up. Everyone's most anticipated match of the night for the FTW Championship. The champion Hook takes on Christopher Jericho. I'll start this one. I think Hook will win. I think he's going to win this. That's my two points. But my one point, going to Jericho. Because I want to see that crowd boo that man out of the building. Boo this man! So two on Hook, one on Jericho. It's also because I really think there's a small chance to give it to Jericho, and I want to spread my bet on that. So, all right, Chad. All right. Well, I'm a fan of Hook. One might say I'm a hooker. But I'm No? All right. I'm going I like home. it. I I'm like going that. home. Uh, yes, I clearly want him to win. But Chandler's got me convinced. I kind of want to see the world burn. So, yeah, throw me in, in. Throw me that one point to Jericho. <laughs> Let's go. So you think Cook will win, but you wouldn't mind it if Jericho won. No, it'd be far more interesting. Dave, anything to add? Um, let's see. <laughs> And I am going to. <laughs> I'm going to go all in on Hook. All in on Hook. Yeah. I think that's so fair. You're a hooker, too. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Next up for the international championship, the champion Roderick Strong takes on challenger Kyle O'Reilly. I think someone asked, how did Kyle O'Reilly slip up those rankings? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Chad, who do you got and why? Uh, Roderick Strong, because honestly, I just think that, um, 
Well, okay. Let me back that up. I think Roderick Strong's going to win uh, just because he's only just got that dang thing. Uh, has he really had defended it yet? I'm sure he has on Rampage. He's not on Dynamite or Collision, as far as okay. I know. And Rampage doesn't exist in the Chatterverse, so. Uh, but, I mean, look at Kyle Riley. He's got such a lovable face. I want him to win. He looks like a good boy. So, one to O'Reilly, <laughs> two to Strong. I think that's yeah. fair. I think that's fair. Daver, what do you got? Uh, all three on Roderick. You want Roderick to win now, is that so? Yeah. I think that's fair. Uh, I'm copying Chad here. I'm two on Roderick Strong, one on O'Reilly, just because I don't really like the Devil Dumpling gang having belts. I think they should disband and go back to what they were doing beforehand. Like, just pretend it didn't happen. You can have the MGF Adam Cole match when they're together, but it has nothing to do with the Devil Dumpling gang. Yeah. They can they can cut a vignette where like Adam Cole just wakes up and goes, Man, that was a weird dream. And mm -hmm. then they're all just singles competitors and then have nothing to do with each other. I, I'd wow. be fine with that. I'd be fine with that. All right. Next up, not only for the TBS title, but the right to be Mercedes Monet's first opponent at double or nothing. Willow Nightingale takes on champion Julia Hart. Dave, who do you got and why? Not only her first opponent, but her first victory. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. Um, they're going to make it interesting. I want Willow all the way. All in so on Willow. Right all right. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Chad Lee, who do you got and why? Uh, same. I feel like right now... Uh, Will is just the more interesting character. Like that crazy little trio of her, Stokely, and Stat is just awesome. And I need more of that. I feel like Julia kind of got derailed by that injury and it just kind of went cold, unfortunately. And it's maybe time to uh, get her doing some other stuff to maybe get her hot again. Yeah. Here's what I think yep. I think I'm a tour for Willow. I think she'll win, but I want Julia to win. And here's a couple mm. reasons why. Here's a couple reasons why. A. I don't want Willow's first reign with a title in AEW to be a transitional one because we all agree Monet's winning. So I don't want that. And B, I want something interesting in this match, like Chris Statlander to turn on Willow so that you can do Willow and Chris for a bit and have Julia lose to Monet, unfortunately. So I'm split on that. Oh, that's a good call, actually. That's some good booking. That's why you're the booker man. I don't want, let me put it this way. I agree with you. I love Julia Hart. I don't want her to lose, but it's also kind of time for her title reign to yeah. end, unfortunately. I just don't want Willow to have a transitional reign as her that's first fair. AEW title. So yeah. that's why I'd pick Julia. Yeah, it's kind of kind of like when we did not want Swerve to win the Continental Classic. Yeah, it was it was like I don't want him to win this, but I want him to win. And yeah. it, it's worked out for him because they, they booked it perfectly. Next up. It's like a just like Athena, I want her to lose to win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy. It sounds nuts, right? But it may make sense. It makes sense. Uh, Next, wrestling math. Yes. Next up for the Continental Crown Championship, or just Continental Championship, Kazuchika Okada takes on Pac. I'll start this one. I'm easy. I'm all in on Okada. That guy just started his reign. He shouldn't lose it. So all in. I love Pac. Excited for the match. But it's all Okada for me, baby. Dave, how you feeling? I'm going to have to agree. They can't be taking that belt off him so soon. Um, Pac is quite the uh, competitor, the challenge, but I think they could tell a broader story with a loss for Pac coming out of that. Yeah. So you're all in on Okada? Yeah. All right, Chad, what do you got? Uh, same, 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 actually. Uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, he just got the dang thing. And, um, yeah, was, uh, I think, man, on a card where Osprey and Danielson isn't on, this could easily be match of the night. Hey, uh, it still could be. Yeah. You never know. Uh-huh. Moving on, moving on. In a ladder match for the vacant tag team championships, we have the Young Bucks versus FTR. Now, this is not just 
for the tag team champions. This is to see who will be the first three time tag team champions in AEW. So, as the founder of AEW himself, Dave, who do you got and why? Uh, also a ladder match. I, I mentioned that, but oh, bird. yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Um, yeah, uh, man, I am kind of been agreeing with you lately about FTR just kind of not doing it for me. Like, they were really hot last like July, August, but last summer they were they were having those matches that like gauntlet match. Remember Chad against oh, yeah, uh, Juice awesome. and Jay? Like that was they were white hot then, but. Man, uh, I don't want or think FTR is gonna win. I'm I gotta go Bucks all the way. All in on the Young Bucks. All right, Chad, who do you got and why? Uh, I love me some Young Bucks. I think they're in rare form right now, and uh, yeah, FTR kind of same, just not doing it for me. Uh, I think it's kind of a way for them to uh, just kind of hopefully uh, end or at least end for now the uh, that rivalry. Yeah, so you're all in on the Young Bucks? Yep, yep, yep. And not to just copy you guys, but I'm all in on the Young Bucks as well. I think you have a perfect opportunity to, here to do the, oh, the faction has all the gold. That's a great trope in wrestling, so why not do mm -hmm. it? It'd look great. And I think the Young Bucks are on, I haven't seen their whole career, but I'd be willing to say they're on the run of their lifetime and the FTR are just kind of doing standard FTR crap. So that's my reasoning. Finally, yeah. I'm leading this one off for the women's world championship in AEW. Timeless Tony Storm looks to retain against Thunder Rosa. I said it in the predictions or I said it in the dynamite review. I'm saying it again. I've gone all in on Tony Storm mm. since I started reviewing and predicting that's not changing now. I think Tony's walking out of that with the belt. Damn. So, all in on Tony. Damn. I also want her to win. Bold choice, Gutsy, Cotton. dude. Holy crap. Dave, who do you got and why? Um, well, I think I'm going to have to split my, my, uh, my points here. I... I don't necessarily want her to keep the belt or to retain. Like, she doesn't need it. She's above it. She's bigger than the belt in my mind. Uh, but it does cause us to be able to see her more. <laughs> so, uh, damn, I just, like, confused myself. Um, so you're going all in on Tony. I think... Thunder Rose is going to win. Two on Thunder. Um, one on Tony for wanting. All right. I think that's fair. Gosh. Chad, who do you got and why? So up until just a moment ago, I was going to go all in on Rosa. Uh, but I've now convinced myself that uh, Tony Storm's going to win. Because I think Mariah May is the one to take it off of her. At all in, that's what I've yeah. been saying since yeah. we started talking. So I so, think it's I think May's taking it off of her at all in. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's the, I think that's the right call because yeah, that's they've been saying that since uh, the whole uh, all about Mar all about Mariah. Like they they made made mention of that storyline. So or Jamie Hater, one yeah. of the two, but I I don't think it's Thunder Rosa. But are you yeah. all in on Tony or are you splitting it? Uh no, yeah, I'm going all in. Obviously, I think that's a smart idea. It's Tony Storm. Why would you bet against the best? Moving on, moving on to what's probably going to be the semi-main or going to be somewhere in the middle of the card. It's a battle to see who's the greatest wrestler of all time. Brian Danielson versus Will Ospreay. We'll start with Chad. Who do you got and why? Ospreay. Ospreay. All the way. All in on Ospreay. Oh, yeah, I think, yeah, that's I think it's... Uh, you know, and it's a, a little, a uh, little breaking the fourth wall kind of thinking here. But I just, I feel like Brian Danielson's the kind of guy who'd want to put that dude over, and like that, just you know, he's on his way out, and you know, that's kind of that's, that's the type of person he is in general. So, yeah, I think that's kind of 
well, it's going to be, it's going to be, shoot. Man, there's going to be a lot of really good matches. Is this one going to be match of the night? Probably. Yeah. It's going to be the most uncomfortable match of the night, watching, watching the, all, uh, watching him get his head caved in. Yep. Dave, what do you got in a lot? Okay. I want a spray. Man. I'm going to have to go all in on Osprey because I think and want for him to win. I think that's fair. I'm going to buck the trend. I'm going to be a trendsetter. I think Osprey will win. I'm putting my two on him. But I want Danielson to win. Here's why, right? If Danielson wins, it's more likely we'll get a trilogy. But if Osprey wins, it's more likely we'll just get the one match. So I would have Danielson win the first one. You could have it be kind of shaky, kind of like the Zack Sabre Jr. one where he didn't win with the with the technical hold. He won with the strike. No, it's not the same story, but that's what I would have. And also, and I know I'm the only one who keeps bringing this up, but Osprey's going to get too high up on that ranking here really quick without a couple losses. So he needs to take a couple losses if you're keeping him away from that title. Or are you going to cut Swerve, spoilers, are you going to cut Swerve's run short for Osprey? So that's why I would say I think Danielson needs to win this. I think it'd be a bit more interesting, be more likely we get a trilogy, and it'd keep Osprey down the rankings for a little bit, even though they don't matter. I was going to say, so, so, so the rankings are a thing again? I want them to be a thing. I want them to matter. <laughs> Uh, so what you were, who did you think? Two on Osprey, one on Danielson. I think Osprey will win. I want Danielson to win. Finally, our main event for the AEW World Championship. The champ Samoa Joe takes on Swervelin Strickland. I'm going to start this one because I'm, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. They're your boys. I'm all in on Swerve. It's the time. There's a chance. There's a chance that a little hangman page could distract or DQ, put it off till double or nothing. I recognize that. Don't care. It's the time. You WWE got away with Cody somehow. They got away with him losing. I really don't know if they could get away with Swerve losing right now. So I'm all in on Swerve. I think he'll win, and I want him to win. Chad? Um, same, 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 same. Yeah, it's it's time. They, um, yeah, I think if they put it off, they are doing themselves and a sort of a huge disservice. Like sometimes the best the best things just the obvious things. No, you don't need to swerve every segment. Oh, Unintended. Oh, oh, I get that. I get that. Finally, favor. Who do you got and why? Um. Yeah, it would be foolish not to uh, give it to Swerve. I feel like I don't want to copy everyone's answer. Um, uh, I'll keep it weird and give my one point to Joe. Nice. But your two is on Swerve. You think Swerve will win? think, yep. I think that's fair. There's a chance Joe retains. You know, you could have Adam Page come out. You could have MJF come out. Like, there's a couple chances of that happening. I just think this is the time. Now, like, as always with these predictions, we have side bets. So I have four written down, but it's all just, could this person return? So, like, we typically do, will there be a big return? But I think there's so many specific returns that could happen. I think we just got to do them one by one. Okay. Starting off, will the scapegoat Jack Perry make his AEW return? Yes. Well, everyone's yes. Everyone's right. yes. All right. Next up, will the Kenny Omega? <laughs> I couldn't remember his nickname. The, the cleaner? The cleaner. Will the cleaner Kenny Omega make his return? Not yet. Nope. We're all no. All right. Will the salt of the earth, MJF, make his return? The pay-per-view, I'll remind you, the pay-per-view is named after his old group that he had in MLW, and 
we know that AEW will have injured people on TV. So, will MJF return? Um, man. That would be a really great surprise. Well, it depends since World's, World's End. End, December 30th. Yeah. He was backstage at Big Business. I know that. Almost almost five months. Oh. What was wrong with him? Hip and shoulder? I think it was hip and shoulder, yeah. Well. And he had no surgeries, right? Just rehab? I don't know on that. They've been keeping it pretty tight. I don't know if he's had surgeries or not. I'll start with mine. I don't think he's going to be there. I think they'll hold him off until they're both, him and Adam Cole are healthy. Or maybe it'll be a double or nothing surprise. But I'll just start that off. I don't think he's coming back. No, me neither. You know, just to be different, I'll say, sure, why not? All right. All right. Next up. The last potential return, the most important one. Will Juice Robinson <laughs> make his return to AEW? Ooh. I'm going yes. That's how the Bullet Club Gold win. Hmm. Yes. No. No. All right. Those are all, all the right, side bets. Oh, what do you got? I got Dave? one. Britt Baker. Will she return? Huh. Let me write that down. Let me let me let you two think. Dave, what do you think? She could return to help Tony Storm. Ooh. Yes, I'm saying yes. All right. Day or Chad, who do you got? Mm, that's a no for me. It doesn't feel right. I would agree. I think that'd be a dynamite return, like the dynamite after. Like, ooh, Britt Baker's ooh. back. That's a pop. The um, WrestleMania after a uh, raw kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would that's what I would go with. Any other side bets we want to throw in? Will Jericho um, and Hook yes. be match of the night? That's a joke. That's a joke. Well, that's subjective. So. <laughs> I think I got one that might be spicy. Oh, okay. Will Mark Briscoe and Kingston have a situation in the match where they cannot coexist? <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'll just put it, I'll just put can they coexist and we'll know who we're talking it, about. Based on their Briscoe beating him for the tight for the ROH title. Dave? Can they coexist? Briscoe and Kingston. And that affects the match in some way. <laughs> I'll start up with mine. I'm gonna say yes, they can coexist because Eddie Kingston doesn't seem to really care about his titles after he loses them. Right. So I don't I don't think he's really gonna care. And there yeah, wasn't not much built, so I'm going to say yes. Yeah, they seem cool with it on that one promo they had a week or right. so. Ago. So I think they only brought that up because it isn't going to work. Okay. All right, so Dave says they will not coexist. Chad, you're the tiebreaker. Oh, yeah, I think they definitely can coexist. All right. Any more little predictions we want to add? I filled up a whole page here with all the side bets, too. I think we got him pretty locked down, unless someone's got someone else. No, I think that's good gambling. This is going to be be interesting. Will there be shots at WWE? God, I hope not. Yeah. (laughs) Why can't we all just get along? All right. Well, that's the predictions for the show up coming up. I think we're all still pretty excited. There could be plenty of surprises coming up. Uh, anything you two boys want to add before we go to the end? Yeah, I really want a Capri Sun now. Thanks, Dave. Dude, I was uh, walking through the grocery store. Let's just say I was medicated, and I look in. I look over and I go, "Hmm, <laughs> that Don't could probably you. be." Be great when I'm at home. 
Uh, yeah, they're made with monk fruit now. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Oddly enough. Uh, I'm going to pretend I know what that is. A, a low sugar replacement. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, they're they're pretty good. Um, but yeah, um, cool. Everyone should uh, take one moment to uh, limber up and uh, elbow drop that like button, Ugh. power bomb that subscribe button. Ugh. Leave a and comment leave a down comment. below. Yeah, let us know what predictions you have for the show. What's going to be your favorite match? Who you want to win? We want to know. Yeah. Not just for the algorithm. We do want to know. We do want to know. We want some engagement. So we'll respond. We'd love to respond. Yeah. Uh, make sure to check out all our short form contents. We're making top fives. We're going to be making more top fives, baby. Um, Dave just uploaded top five policy AEW roster members. And uh, Chad, do you have a potential tease for your next one? Yeah, yeah, we're it's actually gonna be a two-parter. We're going top ten, baby. Top ten blood feuds. Wow. So if you if you have any good ideas of uh what you think's on the horizon, throw that down in the comments. Cause uh there's a ton of them. I fell down that rabbit hole and I could not just narrow it down to five. And I'm gonna spoil oh. it. Number one is Ryback versus CM Punk. You better watch it. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Um, yeah, good, good stuff. Um, yeah, we like uh, pumping out those videos. And uh, I am going to dabble in uh, maybe opening up some uh, wrestling action figures, too. Uh, there's a pretty big uh, niche for that on the old YouTube. So, uh, yeah. Um, I've got some vintage WCW uh, tops trading cards. I'd like to rip open some packs and see if we got anything cool. Um, but yeah, that should uh, should be pretty fun. Wrestling related. Why not, right? Yeah. Looking forward to it all. Unless we got anything else to go on about, guys. All right. Well, thank you so much good for watching. Yeah, can't wait for the pay-per-view. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your lovely prediction, boys. I hope I win, obviously, because I don't want to make a video about Jericho. But you know what? It's all fun, right? Yeah. Until you have to watch uh, watch Ryback matches. <laughs> only a couple. Only all of them. Only. Hard, hard you time. only got to find all the house show ones, too. Ooh. Only. Somebody uh, probably already made a video. Right? You can just kind of... <laughs> Top five Ryback matches. Uh, there's nothing in this. Nothing <laughs> there. Oh, there's this great video by this YouTube channel called Grapple Sauce. They made a top five Ryback matches. You should check that out for Ryback. It was spicy. You should check it out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a good night. And bye-bye. Peace.